ओके मिस्टर सार्थक सो एक्स बाय टू इज गुड थ्री देर फोर एक्स इज गुड टू सिक्स बस हाफ वाई इज गुड टू सेवन देर फोर वाई इज गुड टू फोर्टीन एक्स बाय फोर इज गुड टू वन देर फोर एक्स इज गुड टू फोर बस एम इज गुड टू उटे शाबाश x upon three into three is equal to five into three. Shabash. Three and three get cut, so x is equal to fifteen. Does that answer any doubt? No, sir. Okay. So, Satya, B part. In B part, sir, I did like I did it like in different way. So I did yeah. minus five upon five. So it would be one. No, no, sorry. It would be minus one. So plus two equals one. Mr. Sathya, Mr. Sarthak. So x upon five plus two minus two is equal to one minus two. Okay. After this. Uh, x upon five into five is equal to minus one into five. Okay. So x is equal to minus five. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No. Mr. Satya, x is equal to eight. Eight. How is yes. it? Eight? How did you do this? So once. Mr. Sarthak. So two uh, x upon three. Hmm. So we'll multiply three on both sides. Okay. So three and three get cut on the left hand side. Okay. And two x is equal to fifteen. Okay. Two x divided by two and fifteen divided by two. So x is equal to fifteen. Fifteen upon two. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, sir. I didn't understand. Okay. Mr. Satya, two by three x is equal to five. You want to eliminate two by three. So what can you do? What you should multiply on both sides, Mr. Satya. Yes, sir. To eliminate two by three, both sides should be multiplied by five. I think. Sir, three by two. By. Three by. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, sir. Mr. Satya, how will you solve this? One second. Mr. Sarthak. 
So uh, we will multiply it by four on both sides. Okay. Is there a shortcut? Can you do it like this? So just a second, I will do it again. No, just tell me what what should I multiply both sides by? Just tell me that. Four upon three. So, sir, I any doubt? No, sir. So this is a shortcut. Therefore, x is equal to Mr. Sarthak. Uh, so, so just eight. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay, Mr. Sarthak, how should I do this? Sir, I didn't understand that question. Yeah. I want to eliminate 1 by 5. How can I eliminate 1 by 5? Uh, by 5 by 1. So it will be same. By multiplying it on both sides, 5 by 1. Any doubt? No. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Mr. Satya, how should I do this? Yeah. What you sh what should I multiply on both sides? Uh, five upon two, I guess. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Mr. Sarthak, x would be equal to. So x will be equal to ten. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay, now I'll mark you questions. And please do only the marked questions. Yeah? So all the questions that I'm marking, just try to do those questions only. Uh, Yeah, do only these two questions. Okay. Mr. Satya, how did you do this? A part? Sir, I haven't completed it. Mr. Sarthak? So, 3x minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 4 plus 9. Okay, what is this? So 9 and 9 get cut. That's yes. why Tx is equal to 13. Okay. Then 3x divided by 3 is equal to 13 upon 3. So x is equal to 13 upon 3. Okay. Mr. Sardak, how did you do this? So 3x is... 3x minus 11 plus 11 is equal to 4 plus 11. So 11 and 11 get cut. So 3x is equal to 15. 3x divided by 3 is equal to 15 divided by 3. So x is equal to 5. Shabash, very nice. Shabash. Mr. Satya, any doubt? It should be 3x minus 11 plus 11, 4 plus 11 is equal to 15. Therefore, x is equal to 5. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Great, sir. Okay. Okay. Can you please try to do all these questions that I have marked? Mr. Sarkar? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, please do. Okay. Mr. Sarthak, first question. So, 
so y is equal to minus six. Mr. Satya, second question. X is equal to six. So three x would be equal to thirteen plus five, and therefore x would be equal to eighteen by three is equal to six. Sarthak, is your answer six? Yes, sir. Mr. Satya, C part. Twenty-four. Mr. Sarthak. So I got minus four upon minus five. I didn't understand this one. So the question is twelve minus five p is equal to minus eight. Okay, Mr. Sarthak, what should I do now? Next. So twelve, ah, uh, twelve plus twelve minus five p is equal to minus eight plus twelve. No, so I want to eliminate this twelve. So what should I add on both sides? Yes, sir. Have you understood? So that's what I said. Okay. So is this okay? Uh, yes, sir. What should I do after this? So, but I got minus four. Why did you get minus four? So because it's plus twelve. You have to add twelve on the other side, right? No, I am adding minus twelve on both sides, na? Right? Oh. Is there any doubt? No, sir. See, I I need to eliminate this twelve. So what should I do? I should add minus twelve on both sides. So, but why not add twelve? Because when I add twelve on both sides, nothing happens. Okay, sir. See, nothing will happen. This twelve becomes twenty-four. Okay, sir. So twelve will get eliminated only if I add minus twelve on both sides. Okay, sir. Is there any doubt? No, sir. I need to eliminate twelve, so I should add minus twelve on both sides. So minus five p is equal to minus twenty. Mr. Sarthak, what should I do next? Mr. Sarthak. So, so divide both sides by minus five. Therefore, p is equal to four. Is there still any doubt? No, sir. Just start the D part. So this also I didn't understand. Just a second. Sir, I didn't understand. Just a second. Just a second. How can I eliminate one point five? So by subtracting one point five on both sides. What should I do next? So divide two point five on both sides. What should I do next? Mr. Sarth, any doubt? No, sir. Mr. Sarth, any doubt? No, sir. See, these are good equations. We should try to do all these equations again. I will upload the video. Please try to do these questions again. Mr. Sarth, how did you do this? So just a question. Mr. Sarth, 
Sir, I told you I didn't understand the third question. Okay. Mr. Sarthak? So, P, minus, P upon minus 2 into 2 is equal to minus 3 into minus 2. Shabash. Okay, after so, this. So, 2 and 2 get minus 2 and minus 2 get cut. So, P is equal to 6. Is this okay? Any doubt? Yes, sir. 